Yes, right down front. Well, hi, Jim. Uh, Michael Pollock. Welcome to Iceland. Thank you very much. Good to see you here. Can I just interrupt you one second sure. and thank all of you? You sat, uh, most of you sat through two films, and uh, they didn't even give you hallucinogenic mushrooms in between. <laughs> so, I really appreciate your being here. Anyway, thank you. Yeah, uh, I was just going to say, you mentioned Burroughs. I, uh, that's one man that I studied with a while, had good conversations with, and read his work, and, and and so quite a while back today, it's almost like he's a prophet. I feel like it's, you know, it's happening. Yes, very and, nice. um, and you answered most of my questions listening to you. But um, I love multi-art, artist myself, but I don't analyze it. I uh, feel it. You know, is it doing something to me? Is it touching me? And that's why I like your films, because they do something to me. I feel them. And I've seen all your films. So this is the first time I've seen this film, so I'll just uh, address that. In most of your films, I don't know exactly what's going to happen. You know? And that's nice. And I feel this pace, which is rather slow. You use strong, interesting characters. And you give them room to breathe. And you give us plenty of room to inject their own imagination. So in this film, I did feel mystery. It's like, who are these people walking in to this film? All very interesting people. And uh, usually I don't know what's going to happen to the film, but this guy, the central character, I was absolutely convinced because he didn't talk much. He was very disciplined. I was absolutely convinced that he was going to kill that guy. He was going to get the job done. Uh, so the only question I pro perhaps have, and then maybe is a little bit of, out of the film, but I just wanted to ask you, because uh, I know you're doing a documentary film now, which is maybe something different than what you've done before. Is it? And uh, I'm talking about the Iggy Pop documentary, and I wonder if it would be all right to say something about that, about doing a documentary, how that going. I want to ask you, have you heard Viking hillbilly music before? I have not. Sounds good to okay, me. Okay, well. <laughs> Viking hillbilly. Enjoy. Wow. I know about, you know, Norwegian black metal. <laughs> <laughs> cool, thank you. Well, uh, so what was the question? <laughs> Now, it's just about that. I mean, you know, I know your film work. Did yeah. you document your new genre, Iggy Pop? Yeah. Well, the first thing, uh, first thing I wanted to say is thank you. I, I, I don't know who, I think maybe it was the poet E.E. E. Cummings, I'm not sure, said that you can understand a poem without knowing what it means. And that's very important to me because you can feel things from a painting, a film, from music, without necessarily knowing exactly what does it mean, which essentially is less important than your understanding of it on some other level that may not be logical, rational level. Um, and Burroughs uh, worked with this concept very much. Uh, I love William Burroughs as a kind of prophet, too. Uh, he predicted a lot of things in the 50s that only now are very apparent, you know. So, and he always considered uh, expression a uh, kind of process rather than here is a masterwork I have created. Instead, this is one step of some ph philosophy of expression or thinking or whatever, you know, so that's important to me also. Um, the, the film, the documentary, I did make one sort of documentary half music concert film that Neil Young asked me to do, uh, which was A Year of the Horse, and that was quite a long time ago, 1996, I think. Um, and I made that film because I love Neil Young's music, especially with Crazy Horse. And Neil, I had made a video with Neil for Crazy Horse, and shot it on Super 8. And while I was doing it, Neil's very interested in films and has made films. And he was like, hey man, why don't we make, you know, a, whole, a long film? And I said to him, I remember saying, well, how long a film? And he said, hey, when I read 
a song, I don't start thinking about how long it's going to be, you know, unless you start doing it, you know. <laughs> so I did make that film. And this, I don't want to talk too much about the Stooges film, um, because I'm just going to take some several years, because I have other projects. Um, but it came about the same way. Um, Iggy Pop asked me a year or so ago, he knows I'm a huge Stooges fan, and he said, hey, how would you like to make a film about the Stooges, not about me, not about Iggy Pop's career, but about the particular band, the Stooges? And I said, man, I, I would love to. So I've been, uh, I have seven hours of Iggy talking on camera about everything you could imagine, <laughs> from archaeology to shamanism to nudity to drugs to clothes to primitive music, avant-garde music, uh, the fact that the Egyptian pharaohs are always depicted without shirts on, which is Iggy, really why Iggy, when he started performing, did not want to wear a shirt. Um, that's true. So anyway, a lot of fascinating stuff. So it's an ongoing thing we are collecting. We don't want to make this kind of film of a bunch of old rock and roll guys on camera looking back and that kind of thing, you know? I want to make a kind of poem to the Stooges using these insights from Iggy and a lot of found footage, photograph—I mean, collected footage, photographs, music, um, just what a kick-ass primal form of expression. I, what, I, was with, I wish I could go back in history and invite some people to a Stooges show like Arto or Nietzsche or, you know, just afterwards, what did you think of that? <laughs> and see how their minds would be blown. By this. <laughs> So anyway, it's a thing that's going to take a few years. There's no, as he said, there's no rush. So um, we're, we're working on it. Um, there's other projects, but uh, I, I love the Stooges, and they really, you know, maybe, I don't know, Funhouse may be the greatest rock and roll record ever made, in my opinion, but seeing the Stooges live is something incredible. So. I'm honored to be working on this thing, but it may take a while, and I don't want to say, I've said too much already, damn you. <laughs> no, I, I don't You know, I don't really know what, what the form will be. I think it will be little subjects that accumulate. Um, not quite sure yet, but you know, my, my motto often is, uh, it's hard to get lost if you don't know where you're going. 